is a system failure. Because um, no one has learned anything from Zenaida Tan's incredible success. And that means that uh, all, the teachers in the all the teachers in the building who could potentially get better are not getting better. And the cost of this is a huge failure rate among teachers in the inner city uh, in the inner city in the United States. In fact, the data says that 50% of the teachers who enter teaching in the toughest schools in the, United, in the United States in our inner cities, where they teach high poverty kids, leave the profession within three years. 50%. We assume that the size of a problem and the size of the solution have to be the same. If you have a big problem, you have to have a big, complex solution to fix it. But oftentimes, there are lots of examples of very simple solutions making a lot of headway and solving complex problems. And so what they say, the way to learn those things, the way to learn what solutions have high leverage is to study success. We spend our time wringing our hands about the, prob wringing our hands about the problems, but it's the solutions that are more powerful. And so, you know, even here in Barcelona, there are hundreds of Zenaida Tans out there in your school system. Where are they? Who are they? Do you know? Have we studied them? Have we tried to learn from them? They're the incredible power of bright spots, right? If we found out what made them so successful, we could share that information, uh, and that would be, you could argue, the fastest way to get better. Actually, the solutions to many of teaching's challenges and education's challenges actually come from the teachers, or could come from the teachers themselves. Teachers are also responsible for driving the economy. So um, if there are teachers in the room, thank you <laughs> for that and everything else you do. So this matters deeply. So we set out to study teachers. That's kind of the idea behind Teach Like a Champion. One of the things about great teachers is that they have developed and problem-solved solutions to these predictable challenges and problems of the classroom. But we have them spread them out. So thousands and thousands and thousands of teachers walk into the classroom every year totally unprepared for problems that are predictable. And if they're going to give their, lives, their lives and their hearts and their souls, to the most important work in society, we really ought to be able to help them address those problems so that they can be thinking about math and literature and science and art and history and not how am I going to get this kid to talk respectfully to me? Or how am I going to motivate this kid to learn? Or how can, I, how can I phrase the question so that it's as rigorous as possible for every kid in my classroom? The mark of a great coach is knowing the difference between I taught it and they learned it. In other words, you can stand up in front of your classroom for an hour and explain to the kids how to add fractions with unlike denominators, but that is very different from whether they learned it. And so great teachers engineer ways to constantly understand what is happening in the minds of their students. Are they getting, are they picking up when I'm putting down? Are they understanding this? Are they learning it? So much time as teachers, we think about calling on kids as managing participation. Who gets to play? But it actually has a much more important function, which is it, it's a source of data. This is one of the ways that Shadell understands what her students know. And so she's clearly thinking about calling on kids as a form of data. How do I know what my students know? And who's the most important kid in the classroom? Who's the kid who's, mo who's most likely not to understand the answer to this question? It's the one kid in the room with her hand not up. You're not only uh, executing, but you're building the knowledge of the field. You are an intellectual when you are a teacher. Uh, that to me is, an, you know, we, one of the things we know about the most effective school systems in the world is that teaching is a high status profession. And this is just a really easy, low cost fix. Yes, we should pay teachers as much as we can, but let's also make teachers understand that we respect them for their intellect.